was when I came on Friday that she told me, she asked me, well, where did all this money come from? It was more just a dismissive shutdown and she went back to her office. There was no real explanation that even the money was on hold. I had to find that out on my own. William McMillan and his wife Svetlana Chernyenko claim he was racially profiled at an RBC bank just like this one in Pancourt, Quebec, west of Montreal. He says it happened on December 9th when trying to obtain services on his account. McMillan alleges the branch manager blocked his account without explanation and he hasn't had access to it since. Going through the process, um, one bill after another, they're accepting, they're accepting, not a problem, until I got to a bigger bill. And that's when the teller went to go get the manager. The manager then came in, didn't ask me any additional questions as far as where the money came from or uh, what am I doing, and said, well, I'm going to have to look into this before it gets accepted. McMillan says he was trying to pay bills for his mother through their joint account, which he is primary holder of. He also has power of attorney for her, as does his wife. McMillan planned to use the money from the sale of a property that day for those bills. His notary had wire transferred the proceeds to that joint account. The couple says without even asking for documentation, he was flagged. McMillan returned to the bank twice after the first encounter with his mother and his wife. They stated that they wanted to protect the client. And it didn't make sense because as I'm now presenting my mom and we're both at the branch, okay, so who are you protecting exactly? If you have both owners of both the money and their accounts, the primary, secondary, everyone's there, who are you protecting exactly? She refused to resolve it. Even when I came there, I was there. He came there twice the day before. On Friday, I was there once for about an hour. She refused to resolve, refused to give me the legal department's name, uh, who apparently had the file. You know it's racial profiling. When you've gone through it several times, you know what it looks like. So the, the, they forget, they don't listen anymore. It stops. It's now you are a criminal. You are doing something fraudulent. That's all they hear. They don't want to hear anything else. Both opportunities. The branch manager didn't bring me into an office to have a private conversation with me, had me out in the open in front of everyone else. But yet RBC has a policy about respecting client, client privacy. They have it. It's on their website, their privacy policy. But she didn't even give us privacy. A few days later, the couple received a call claiming to be a representative of the bank, saying there was an anti-money laundering hold on the account. But the bank's customer service said his account had a hold at the branch managerial level without a cause indicated. City News called the branch directly and did not hear back from the manager. In a statement to City News, RBC says it doesn't comment on client-specific situations, but that diversity and inclusion are core values, and that discrimination in any form is against everything it stands for and isn't tolerated. Although RBC says it doesn't communicate on private client matters through social media, including Instagram, the couple was contacted by RBC through Instagram DM, but say since they haven't heard back and still don't have access to the account. In Montreal, Brittany Enriquez, City News.